Hello everyone, I'm Shinzo Machida and today I'm going to talk about the three types of timing that you can apply the uppercut. The Japanese name you can call urazuki. You show the back part of the hand and the punch coming from down to up. That technique you can apply also with the hands in the vertical position. The most important thing is to connect using the big knuckles, these two big knuckles. Doesn't matter if you show the back part of the hand or if you're gonna show like just the back part of the hand to the side. You can apply that technique as attack, as a counter, and as an interception. Let's check it out. I'm here with Dean today. Dean is gonna help me to explain like a three kinds of timing to apply the uppercut. In Japanese, urazuki. So the first one, I wanna demonstrate when I attack. So when you're gonna use the uppercut, usually when the guy's gonna cover, and you can see the gap here, or sometimes when the guy's gonna duck, they're gonna crunch his body to do the hook, or like an overhand, so that's the time you can apply the uppercut. Let's see the attack first. So, usually you're gonna apply the uppercut when they are the medium or short distance. So, I'm gonna do the first punch one, and I realize that G is gonna cover his face like that. Go, one, two. As you can see, every time when I do my straight punch, G is gonna block, one, two. My hand, put hand there. My hand is gonna stop in his guard. Because, look at here, face to the camera. I punch, go face there. But there is a gap here in between his arm. So that's the time, that's the space, the gap that I threw my uppercut. Also, don't forget, use the big knuckles to connect your technique. So right here, block one. I see now the jeans block, instead I go straight, I go the uppercut, boom, from the bottom position, because I see the gap. And if you come with the long distance, come here a little bit, you can do double jab and jeans gonna move. One, two, but he's still protect, and I throw the uppercut. The second one that you can throw the uppercut, urazuki in Japanese, is when your opponents attack. So I demonstrate already when you attack, now when your opponents attack. So here, G is gonna throw like a Gyakuzuki, that hand, go one, you can slip, and you can do the uppercut there. Stay there, please. One, go slip, and uppercut here, boom. Or even sometimes you go one, you go here and do the body shot. Use your whole body into his Go to the front, move forward. A little bit, twist a little bit, and again, one, body or face. Again, one, ah, face, or one, body. If you is gonna do that punch again, one, you can block, now uppercut. And the third one that I'd like to demonstrate today is when your opponents try to do something and you intercept his technique. Is for example here, G is gonna do one, two, and I realize he's gonna apply the, like a overhook or hook. I'm gonna intercept him because I realize his body is gonna come down. So if you have a straight punch, go one and two, do my punch is gonna pass. So the perfect technique to apply that is the uppercut because this is gonna come from the top to down and my hand is gonna come from down to the top, up. So go, I do one, I see that, I have to intercept him before he come. Boom, connect this. And I can step back to make my awareness be good, or in Japanese, call zanshi. 
So again, I do one he come, boom, two. Or oh, even I realize he's gonna st start the movement, go start the movement. I hit the side, bow, connect that technique. So it's a three kinds of time to apply. When you attack, when you defend and counter, and when you intercept. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please check the machidavirtualdojo.com. See you guys next time. Whoosh.